Tonight, I'll bring you bison, the Cipriano way. I'm gonna show you how to make it. I'm um, doing a lot of pictures, showing you some of my healthy meals. And tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make a bison to perfection. Bison, for those who don't know, is buffalo. It's very lean, it's very healthy, and most of all, it tastes great. So with that, be right back. All right, this is what I got over here. I got this onion, this is a sweet onion. Cut a little bit, about a quarter out of it. Got some garlic over here. Got a potato. Got a piece of bison. I got a grip of Brussels sprouts. They ain't my favorite, but they taste good with butter. Now let me show you something here. We're gonna do this like this. All right. Now, so real quick, you know, bringing this baby out here. Let me just show you what this looks like. You know, I ain't emerald, so you know, don't give me no jive. There we go. There it is. The piece it looks good to me. And uh, we're going to season this up with a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and it's going to be great. And I'm going to show you how I do it in a minute. I try to get fancy here. I just cut these up, you know. It's a little chunk slices. It's not like good fellas. We're not using we're not using razor blades. I like the taste of the crunch. And uh yeah, you can use store board uh pre smashed crushed and I'll show you a good brand to use when you're uh, doing this and uh, boy I need an assistant to hold the camera but uh, this stuff is good this stuff right here you know you uh, you squeeze it it comes out like a paste and like little round little chops. It's pretty good. You know, I mix this with hummus too. They add a little flavor to the hummus. Hummus is good too. I like that. You saw a couple of pictures when I used hummus with the uh, with the crackers, the toasties. I don't try to eat not crackers, but the toast, garlic toast, and they come in a box. I have that around here now. Last night I got the munchies and I ate them with the hummus. It was a pretty good snack with the with raisins. Alright, so I'm chopping these up, alright? Alright, so get that done. Now the onion. Yeah, you know, like I said, I don't get fancy on my emerald. Yeah, you know, I just go down there and cut these bad boys up. Maybe some if I cut my finger on here. Oop, almost. I want to cut this one more time. Alright. And then, uh, those are good, you know, they break up here. Mm. What I do is I get these in the pan with some oil just till they're translucent. And, uh, I mean, so I pull them out, and I pull them out, and I, uh, Put it, oh, I like the smell of these. I 
pull them out and put them uh, on the side until the steak is done. But I do season the steak, but I don't want to get them too, you know, cooked because then they taste like crap. Now I'll show you what I, how I season the steak real quick. Now, pull that over there. I take this bad boy and uh, you know some fresh cracked pepper. You know, grab that bad boy. Cook that bad boy with that. Right, and then I take, believe it or not, I do use this here. And I squeeze a little bab onto my plate here, along with this Mrs. Dash, to get rid of that salt, the need for salt. But on this, I like to put fresh. Um, Fresh sea salt because sea salt is a little bit healthier for you. And you can't really eat buffalo, you know, without it. Okay, now that's on there. Get a little bit of this salt I got down here. Tiny bit, you don't need much. And you know, I gotta clean off these things because uh, my hands are clean. Don't wanna forget san uh, you know, being sanitary. So just a tiny bit. It's good enough for me on the bottom and good enough for me on the top. Now, a little trick I want to show you here. You just take your, you take your fork and poke holes in this bad boy. Kind of, you know. Let me show you something here. And get, you poke the holes in there to get those pieces of garlic in there. See how they're disappearing? Because they're getting in the, into my buffalo. I want them to, to get in there. Want them to get in there good. Flip it over and do the same, same thing. Now I need two hands for this, so we're gonna get them in them holes. Spread them out, you know? And then I'm going to turn your attention to my frying pan over here. Very little bit. Don't use a lot of oil. Throw it in there, that's enough. What I do is I get it so it coats the pan and you know it's hot when it starts. See what it's doing right now? That bad boy means it's pretty hot. This is a good non stick uh, graphite pan. These are the new things that are out now. Doesn't have all that poison in it. Okay? Then, let they get really hot. Throw on your blower. 
I use the olive oil just for taste. 